The inspiration of this house came from many elements. A big part of architecture and design is that emotional and spiritual element, which especially in the condo context is how one perceives space. It's a design decision, really. Uh, I didn't necessarily want the structure of the space to feel divided. I wanted it to be one continuous space. My name's Carl Huang. I've been a professional dumbass for 19 years, and I'm the architect, interior designer, and home tenant of <laughs> on the park. I totally designed the house and definitely bought the land in collaboration with the developers at Lanterra. When I started here in 2020, it had this beautiful view of just a sea of Toronto skyscrapers. I designed this space in particular to accommodate with my needs and what I like that is uh, uh, design decisions. The apartment really just have that minimalistic and functional vibe to it. With bits of imperfection and moments of character splashed around here and there. To me, that's what represents me as a person. It reflects my actual ability to do anything properly. So that's why when you come into the space, you will notice the concerning cracks on the ceiling, the chips on the walls, things not lining up in general. Being only one years old, uh, this building, you know, uh, these are intentional design decisions that Lantera and myself personally made uh, to give it more character. You will just notice the floor to ceiling glass windows everywhere as part of that modern interpretation of what the international style of architecture is. As well in this house, you will notice lots of culture, starting with a really loud Turkish, American, German washer and dryer. And the Japanese Taiwanese hot water dispenser thing, that's like a traditional item in a household if your Taiwanese parents are like almost 60. The, the dining table is Korean, uh, Hong Kongese. The rest is probably all made in China. There are also lots of personal touches of mine. My past drawings and architectural work, which are ultimately shit. Luxury was also an item that I considered as well. So in the kitchen, you got a full-size oven, a stainless steel microwave, and this touch-sensitive electric cooktop, which is beautifully integrated into the counters. Speaking of integration, I also decided to go for the integrated fridge and the dishwasher. So when they're both closed, the kitchen looks like one continuous space. But with this, there are also lots of practical design decisions. More storage underneath the bathroom sinks, next to dual flushing toilets and a full-size tub. A medicine cabinet which holds my 
nasal spray collection. Also, the office desk adjusts up and down electronically. And in each of the bedrooms, the doors of the closet are full-size mirrors, so that way the reflection makes the space feel a lot bigger. The surrounding balcony or terrace kind of goes around the entire unit. While that is very beautiful and further drives home the point of one continuous space, the whole thing is pretty much just a waste of space.